Welcome to Alyssa. At least I assume that's how you pronounce it. Alyssa is a retro-styled, old-school Resident Evil-like adventure horror game set in a life-sized dollhouse. Uh, this game is... it was effectively made by one person, and it's... Belgian? I forget exactly. Um, they absolutely leaned into the retro stylings of it. Um, I think the default resolution of the game is something like 320p. Which you can, you can scale up, but understand that the grit, I guess, is part of the experience. Um, the game also, by default, comes with tank controls enabled. I've updated this to modern controls instead of tank controls, but I feel like tank controls, kind of like the original Resident Evil, is kind of the intended method of play. Um... But with all that said, let's see what's going on. Um, so I've been playing for like, what What does that say, 24 seconds? That was just to make sure I had a handle on controls and what have you. I'm not playing blind, though this is my first time playing through the game personally. You also have to play through the game multiple times in order to get all of the endings. I will do my best to show off all of the endings and all the secrets and everything. I may not be able to get to a lot of the secrets and everything on my first playthrough. Um, I'm not going to play through the game multiple times on video. Um, so expect the end of the first playthrough to be effectively the end of the proper playthroughs. Uh, so with that said... Um, start with auto-aim. I think this is another um, adaptive thing for more modern audiences. I'm going to say no. Just to get more of the traditional experience as well as because of the um, implications of how this could affect gameplay later on. Alright, listen up. Tonight, a spy stole important blueprints and he got away however we were able to gather information and track him to his last known location he escaped with the supply train we will ride a train on the same tracks dropping you off at every station and small groups to search the area find him and make sure those blueprints don't fall in enemy hands got it Alyssa, the next stop is yours. The heck is that guy, a blue meanie? So this is, we are not alone in our investigation. The Blue Meanie is currently assisting us. And they drop you off in a reasonably safe location so you can get used to the controls. Uh, there is a run button. You have to press the button in order to run. Don't appear to be able to... Okay, so you do not get a prompt when you look at something. 
You just run up and hit action to see what happens. See what see what happens. Um Okay, so I mentioned modern controls. The entire game is fixed camera angle. So you can see fixed camera angle. Um, modern controls means when I press down, I move towards the camera, and when I press up, I run away from the camera. Left and right, move me left and right, as one would expect. Um, tank controls are forward moves for your character forward from their perspective, backward is backstep from their perspective, and left and right means turn left. So it's a little more cumbersome, I guess, but that's how a lot of games were at the time. Other buttons we have at our disposal are we have draw weapon. Uh, once you've drawn your weapon, it reverts to something closer to the tank controls, where left and right turns, up and down actually aims up and down. Um, you have a... the run button while your gun is out, reloads it. Then, of course, you have a fire button, you have a cancel button, you have a weapon change button, because I also have a sword. Which you don't swing just by standing here. You have to ready, just like your gun, and then you can attack. And the reload button instead guards, well, parries, I suppose. Because it only puts it up for a brief moment, so you actually have to time your parry. Again, like, um... Games of the time, you do have to... Or it's fixed camera angle. Pre-rendered backgrounds. But we can look around, see what we can find. Let the trucks go back to nature. Okay, here's our friend. You found something? What is it? Fresh footprints. Someone must have passed here not so long ago. Let's check those houses first around the road. See if we can find more tracks. Okay. Man, those are some trees. Are we sure those are trees, actually? So when the camera angle changes, um, this is kind of nice, when the camera angle changes, you actually retain the direction that you're moving from the previous camera angle until you let off the controls. So Let's I will... Let's check these houses. See if there is someone who lives here. Okay. So if I'm pressing down now, I will continue moving in this direction, as one would expect. But if I let off and press down, then I go down. I'm going to look in every window. Nobody's home. This is a pretty small village, all things considered. you guys to these parts sorry for bothering you sir we are looking for a man he might have passed these parts 
Have you seen a person like this? Ah, yes, yes. Very kind fella. He stayed here for a cup of tea and headed for the forest behind my house not so long ago. You say he came in for a moment. Can we take a quick look around? It won't take long. Of course, of course. Come in. I suppose we, I suppose we should chase him, but also so if he maybe left something in here. Living around here. Where are all your neighbors? Everyone went to work in the big cities, since factory work was on high demand. You actually have to press the action button in order to go up stability. and down the stairs, and then you just go up, up and down the what whole stair you? all on its own. Why did you stay here? Oh, I'm already too old for that. Je vois. Even the church is abandoned. Yes, exactly. The doors have been shut tight Elise. for quite a while now. So, what do you do during the journey? Can't go any further that way. Oh, just some reading, a bit of writing, or sometimes I go for a walk outside. D'accord. I'll leave you to it then. Thank you for your time. We'll be on our way now. Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot of value in here. I didn't actually catch a lot of what he was saying, but if memory serves, it's not very important. Oh, it's the friggin'... Can I get that camera? It's the friggin' blue meanie. Oh, you know, he actually reminds me of the policeman from the beginning. Okay, let's go! Let's find this guy! We were the unlucky ones that happened to get dropped off on the stop that he's at. I mean, depending on your enthusiasm for your job, maybe the maybe the lucky one. Can I go this way? Looked kind of like a path. Let's get him! What a weird looking guy. Alright, let's go! What are you walking for? Let's go! Jen, what are you doing? <laughs> I swallowed my cure dent! <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> go, Alisa! Don't let him say Chappé! Here, use the alert signal in my backpack. Don't worry, I'll get him. Your toothpick? Really, dude? Really, dude? Okay, well, he's gotta be up here, so... Ah, yeah, there he is. Let's go! I can run faster than you! I have longer legs! Why is this a little foreboding? Okay, that a cliff? Okay, where'd the dude go? What's going on? What kind of monsters? What in the world? Okay, no, that's bad. Hit tip for combat. Okay, this is what I mentioned before. Hit the aim button to get your weapon ready while aiming. Press the action button to shoot. Uh, keep an eye on your status. That means in the lower right-hand corner, you'll actually see the weapon, the ammo, so you know when to reload. The bar to your left is your health. And the crosshair will actually light up when you are actively targeting an, a target. So you know, yeah, if it's gray and I fire, I'm not going to hit anything. Which is real heckin' nice. 
Yeah, reload is reload, target, enemy, and target. Good stuff. Okay, I need some distance. Need some distance! Need <laughs> Every little bit of distance I gain, I lose as soon as I have to change camera angles. Okay, let's just get it right here. We'll do it. Turn around. Nope, that's not how you do it. There we go. Get out of here. And that is a curious turn of events. Uh, you cannot defeat those up top. Even if you're super careful and make sure all your bullets hit and you don't get swarmed or anything, you don't have the ammunition to kill them. Let's investigate while I'm here. I keep forgetting that I like, hit the investigate buttons. Ooh, it has a drawer. Hey. Maybe that's from the guy. So I haven't mentioned it yet, but we do have a pause screen. So when we grabbed the gun, it went into our open equip slot up top. We've had everything else taken away from us so far. We don't really have much of an inventory. We have a key ring with a single key on it. All of our keys will go on this key ring. So that'll be kind of nice to not like take up a ton of inventory space. So stats, we have 15 defense. Okay. We've been in a whole one room. So we can still do this in fire. Um, getting used to the firing is going to take a little, little time. Well, I happen to have a key. Excuse me. I... Oh, that's not a person. It's not a person, that's a doll. <gasps> well, so when you kill a doll... They turn gray, they're gone. Enemies that are dead are dead forever. Yeah, so this is whatever that thing was investigating. Um, also, when they die, they drop cogs. Or pinwheels. And that is the five that is up there next to our portrait. We have five pinwheels. And due to the camera angles, it may be kind of hard to tell what is what is up, but there are two doors in here, so. Going 
going slow because I don't know what all's up here. Whoa there. Oh, gotta reload. Crap. Okay, we don't have all the ammo in the world. Yeah, we got five bullets left, which I don't even know if is enough to kill one of those things. Stairs. I'm terrified. Okay, nothing down here. We're good. Oh, that's cool. We got a little guy flying around down there. So that's the door we came out of. So a left hand. So we're going to encounter a left hand key at some point. A glowing heart. Oh boy. Okay, I can go in here. Bob shells. Cool. I don't have a gun that can use those. Hey, you! No! Don't shoot! I can help you! Who are you? What is this place? My name is Bob, and this is a dollhouse. The dollhouse? No, really? What's going on here? And why am I very distressed? Yes. Well, don't help you with that. But if you can bring me some tooth wheels, like this one, I might be able to exchange them for some extra firepower. Hey, hey, don't fool me, Puppet. Tooth wheels on that! Fine. Alright, this guy's our shop. Martin shots. Now that is actually for this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the shop, Welcome. see what we have for us. So weapons, we can buy more weapons. 22 pinwheels, we only have 10. We'll get us a shotgun. 12 will get us a saber. I kind of want to get the saber. That's 12 pinwheels that you're kind of not getting back when you can do without it. But I kind of want to get it because I like having an ammo-less option. And not using ammo means I can save money in the long run because I don't have to buy ammunition. I can also buy dresses. Military uniform. That's the outfit we came in in. We can get that back. Um, so of note is this says plus 15 defense and and fast reload. The doll outfit that we have on currently also has 15 defense. So what you're getting with that dress is the fast reload. The current dress actually makes you harder to detect by opponents. Um, then items, medkit refill. That actually sounds kind of nice because we don't have a means of healing ourselves right now. Uh, Martin-type ammo is the weapon for the pistol, and Bob-type shells are the shotgun shells. And saving also costs a pinwheel. So saving is not a free action. Oh, that's Charlotte. She will take care of your possessions. Now, take a look inside. We can't do much in here now, but this is where we would go to change our weapon loadout and dresses. We can have more than two weapons, but we can only carry one at a time, or two at a time. And we can, of course, only wear one dress at a time, but this is where we go to change them back. So, with that said, this is Alyssa. Until next time, everyone, when we can see what is going on in this dollhouse.